Okay, so now I'd like you to open the file called Star Graphic. And I hope you'll do this along with me. So I'm going to select this graphic. And I want you to notice that the colors are different on the outside here. And there's a reason for this. Um, and it'll become evident as we go through this process. So I'm going to make a copy of this here and go to Edit and Edit Colors. And the first thing we're going to do is go to Adjust Color Balance. And you see, you if you want something, for example, to have more magenta, you can do that. Here we go. You see, I put in 24% magenta here, and you can see the difference. Okay, let's, and of course you could do that with any color. So let's do this, make a copy again here, and this time go to Edit and Edit Colors, and this time blend from front to back. Okay, now the front color here was the red, you see. And it blended all the way through all of these to the back. Okay, let's do another. Okay, let's go to Edit and Edit Colors. And let's blend horizontally. Okay, so you can see it blended from the green to the orange here. Okay, let's do this again here. Make a copy and go to Object, uh, I mean Edit, excuse me, and Edit Colors. And this time we're going to do vertically. Okay, so there, now it went from the top, the yellow, to the bottom, here, to the purple. Okay, let's make another one here. Copy. And we'll go to Edit and Edit Colors. And this was an RGB file. So you can convert it to CYMK, you see. Now, this can be done just the opposite. Let's say that you started off with a CMYK file. You can convert to RGB, and let's say that you have a logo to do. You can then convert those to Pantone colors. Okay, so let's do this one more time here. And make a copy, and we'll go to Edit, and Edit Colors, and this time convert to grayscale. Okay, and this is very useful if you are doing um, a job that was originally done in color, and now it's going to be done in black and white or in a single tone color. Uh, you can convert to grayscale. And it's also a good way to see if you have proper contrast in your colors that you've chosen. Okay, let's make another copy here. And go to Edit and Edit Colors. And let's Invert Colors. Okay, so what this does is it changes the colors to be the opposite col colors um, of what they are on the color wheel. So you can see blue is the opposite of yellow. Okay, now one more here. And here we're going to go to Edit and Edit Colors. Now, if you're doing a project, um, you may want to overprint black. Okay, so Let's 
see how that works. Um, I'm going to actually take this off and put down a rectangle. And take off the stroke color here and put on a fill color that is, oh, let's say a light blue. There we go. All right. And then I'll take this graphic here, and this black and white here, and I will copy it. And paste it here. I think I'll have to bring it to front. Oh, no, I didn't. OK, so if I wanted this to overprint the black so that it wouldn't knock out the uh, back color, this is where I would do that. I would take that graphic, and I'll just move that again so that it's still selected. And I would go to Edit, and Edit Colors, and Overprint Black. And I'll just show you how that does it. And you can see um, that you can say Include Blacks with CMY, Exclude Spot Blacks. You have some choices here. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. Let's select this and make a copy. And here we'll go to Edit and Edit Colors. And we're going to go to Saturate. And what's so cool here is you can saturate the colors like that, make them very deep. Or, and you can see what I did there, or you can desaturate them too. So, okay, so I think I'll leave these saturated. So that's, that's that. Um, that's our, our color editing, and um, I hope you enjoyed this and learned something that will be useful to you. Goodbye now.